Uh, hello everybody, today we're going to be going over some gameplay commentary just for Heroic Tychondrius. Um, so, I did just get back, so this is my first week doing the boss. We had a couple of attempts on the boss, so I'm not um, the best with all the timings on some of this stuff. But I think I figured out a pretty good routine for, you know, what I'm doing. And the rest of it, obviously there's going to be a lot of mistakes and things I can improve on this. Um, but, you know, as you can see there, the first thing I'm doing is I am making sure I get Powered Radiance on the entire raid um, and that is to get a big Light's Wrath off for those first two brands that come out. Um, so we're exploding one in the melee and one in the range so the whole raid will be taking a fair amount of damage from that. Um, so yeah, my whole priority there is just to get out as many Powered Radiances as possible and then um, explode them. So because you do get quite a bit of mana back in this fight um, I'm not too concerned about, you know, how many radiants I cast, I pretty much just go gung-ho. Um, now, see here is something I probably should not have done, is I raptured this, this phase here, and I'm, I'm gonna guess that a whole bunch of my shields are about to actually expire and fall off, um, which was not a good thing to do. What I should have done was raptured for the second brand, and, you know, was just, just being quicker at doing that. Um, so that, that is a mistake on my part, but that's you know kind of the things you got to think about when you're when you're playing disc is when you can use your cooldowns to do effective burst. Now I don't have any tier, um, so my rapture duration isn't you know that long, but it is still pretty decent. So you can see I'm getting an innovate here for the uh, the next next set of brands that are coming out, and I'm making sure that I get a tournament on everybody, and we're just smiting out here for some throughput. So yeah, it should be. Probably penancing here. Yep, cool. So there we go. A lot of lot of healing going out right there. So you can see the HPS for that is fairly high, um, and it's it's really it's really not too hard to do. It's just you know you just got to be watching your brand timers and just making sure you're getting up attainments at the right time. So uh, nothing much really happens in this phase. As I said, I'm not really too concerned about mana. This this next kind of part here. Um, in the in the nightmare, you can't really do too much healing as a disc, uh, just because the the adds are constantly spawning. There's nothing really for you to attack, and you have to be moving around all the time. Um, and you can do a little bit, but you're not going to be as effective as a lot of classes. Um, and it is it is pretty hard to do. So my my main priority really in this phase is to ensure that I get an orb. Um, so as you can see here, I'm kind of just running around like a headless chicken just to make sure I get one. One second left, just get one just in the end. It's really important that I do get an orb in this phase, just so we have mana going to the next phases, because I am going, you know, I, I do do quite a bit of healing, um, and it's really important that I have a tournament out for all the brands that are coming up. So, as you can see, the brands are here. I should be a little bit earlier on when I'm radiancing there. I'm getting another Light's Wrath off. So, I definitely, if I if I was a bit more preemptive there, um, you know, three or four seconds in front, I would have had another six to uh, nine more atonements. And I would have um, been able to heal that a whole lot more effectively. So you can see now here as well, which I'm rapturing for the next one. This is what I'm saying I should have done at the start. So I should have um, radianced, you know, the first ones, and then raptured for the second ones. And you know, after you get tier, that uh, that rapture uh, burst window there becomes a whole lot more stronger as well. So yeah, um, it's it's. Once, uh, once you as well do get the tier, there is a whole lot more value in using your Rapture. Um, pretty much, not on cooldown, but um, you know, using it as pretty much as your first cooldown every single time because it is very powerful. You know, having um, what do we have 18 second atonements. So they go up to 24 second atonements. So that is a, a, a huge um, amount of healing you can put out with every Rapture. So, you know, casting. Rapture over, you know, using things like Powered Radiance, so like I did in the start, is something I might consider, um, you know, once I get four piece, just to make sure I get more Raptures out during the fight, and, um, you know, with with the uh, with the four piece, you can actually make your Rapture maybe cover 20 people rather than covering, um, you know, 12 to 15. So, that's the whole idea for this fight, is pretty much, um, my, my main concern really with healing is making sure that for every brand that goes out, um, that I do have a whole bunch of atonements up, and then when the brand is exploding, I'm casting some damaging spells, so penancing and smiting. Um, as I've gone over in some other videos, 
I tend to smite a whole lot more than most healers, um, and that that just comes. I'm, I'm I'm not sure what I could be doing. I think it's I think it's me not using um, powered shield as much as I could be, which is why I get more smites than a lot of healers. But it's also why my uh, my healing might not be as high as some of the you know the very top end healers. So. You know, that is something I, you know, try and improve, um, you know, and try and track as much as I can. But yeah, you know, that, that's like a point of improvement for me. Um, but it's it's not, you know, anything major. So right here, ideally, I sh actually, so these third brands were not popping. So I think this Rapture here might be a bit wasted. Um, so I think some of these shields will probably expire because there should be no raid damage that comes out until this ad. So if I delayed that rapture there for, you know, maybe 10 seconds or so, and then I would have been able to rapture for the AoE damage from this ad. Because we're not popping any more of these brands, if we were popping these brands, the rapture would have been fine, but just the just our strategy for this boss, that, that rapture was really quite a waste. Um, so, you know, that's... Again, like, Dispriest is all about, you know, setting up, having a plan, and knowing, you know, when there's going to be damage coming out. If, if you're not preemptive as a Dispriest, you're not going to be doing good healing. Um, you know, and it's, it's something I get, I get questions from people all the time about, you know, how, how they are, how can they improve their healing, and, and um, you know, whatnot. And, and it pretty much stems from, you know, knowing exactly what's going to go on the fight, being very critical of how you're playing and being very critical of, you know, where you've gone wrong. Um, you know, and I, I also, like, I, I can guarantee now from after going through this and analysing my gameplay that next time I do this boss, um, I will probably be a whole lot more effective because, you know, now that I've gone through and talked about it, I know that maybe rapturing for the first brand will be very effective um, and then, you know, using Innovate for the next one and then, you know, I'm, I'm going to be looking solid, um, you know, for mana for the rest of the fight. So, you know, little improvements like that. But anyway, that's enough of me talking. Um, I am going to just put in uh, me just, you know, my the calls I'm talking out here, uh, just to kind of give you an idea of, you know, how I'm communicating with other people and what I do as a raid leader as well. All right, well, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. On the lowest possible price. Now let's run in. Fire mage does 582k. Four, Destruction wall off. Take the answer. Beware. Okay, revival. Is revival this next round to him. Gonna revival it, okay. I'm gonna run into Millie. Cool, okay. Four, three, two. Two, one. Beware. One, three, two. Can't heal that melee. It's fine, I'm over here. Tony? Fuck. Chain heal is exactly the same as chain lightning. I have no idea when it's gonna chain. Sometimes we can chain across the whole room, sometimes it fucking doesn't. I'm gonna run the melee. Yeah, thanks. Hiding this one as well. Yep. Four, three, I'm gonna bury the next one. One. Beware. Can you innovate me, Emerald? Die. Put a bag you up as well. Yeah, yeah. Go yeah. okay, for it. No, I need that half. Four, need a break boards? One. Wave the six one and then break the woods. Echo's coming up. Two, one. Right. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> That's a good place for one. Yeah. Alright. Everyone to the middle. Don't go gung ho guys. Let Ben get this first one. Ben got the first one. Oh well, my good. I don't know about you guys, so I got no fucking ma. Yeah. Yeah, I'm is shit too. Oh, 
I'm dead. Four, three, two, one. There's a lot of buffs. Potion, hero. Yep. <coughs> More people got it, that's him. Yeah, that one's pretty I'm gonna pop mine and melee. Oh, okay. yeah, I rush it. I rush it. BBL, yeah, do you have the thing? You should probably move away before you get it. Beware. Next trade through it. Brands coming out. A melee. Four, three, two, one. Beware. Three. Take this one. Echoes, be behind a pillar. Lag. I got barrier for this one. Oh fuck. Which should the melee? Group? Just run into melee, run into melee, because I got. I got straight the edge to trade. Barrier down. Kill the ads, guys. Alright, next brand. Can we link inside this? If we live here, the boss does. Yep. Starting now. Break them. Darkness as well. You can. Four, Break them. Break my lane. Rain. I'm gonna need to run to green. I got Beware. this poison. So. I guess. Four, three, two, one. Yes. Hide. Just leave. Any aura, please? Alright, do not get hit by this thing. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, dude. That Ben hit the first one. Got two B ready. Can I have one then? I'm in the face thing with you. No, I can't do. Sorry. Thank you. Need a buff. <laughs> buff. Four. Three. Huh? Two. Oh, I got a buff. Heaps, this heaps. Everyone got it. It is heaps, I think. Yeah. Alright. Nice. Alright. Kill, yeah, kill, the, break kill the first one. When the big ad spawns, everyone needs to pop it. We're not popping these marks, guys. These brands, sorry. Just spread out with them. Don't, don't Four, pop it, mate. Alright, ads spawning. Ads have spawned. Everyone swap to the ads. Everyone swap to the ads. Big ads up. Kill the watcher. If you got Seeker right. Swarm as well as Thing, you've got to move out here. Brands well. coming up. Make sure we're spread. Fuck, got that debuff like a second. All yeah. my mana's gone. Four, three, I'm gonna move. Two, yep, you can go. One. Beware. See you guys one. Four, three, two, one. Destruction. Oh, my poison ran out. Hide. Alright, just need the boss here, guys. Ignore these ads. Only got 100 mil left. Uh. You get the big one at least. So we got 100 mil, dude. The ads have as much HP as the boss. Just spread out, kill the. Innovate, please, Emran. Kill the boss, guys. 60 mil. Nah, got the ads on me. 60 mil is fine. Just kill the boss. Three kills on three ammo. Me, second. We got him. Woo! Yeah, nice. Nice. <laughs> Easy boss, right? A fucking no conk. <laughs>